Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, in previous videos, we already learned about YOLO Volume Egg for object detection. But YOLO Volume Egg is not only for uh, object detection; it also has different abilities to give us. And in this video, we are gonna focus one of them, which is pause estimation. And uh, uh, the important of this video, you cannot, you can find examples with YOLO Volume Egg pause estimation examples in the internet, but most of them are Python based. So. Uh, for this video, we are gonna focus that with C++ and we are gonna see how it's working. I'm gonna share the code with you also and we are gonna go through the code how it's working. Okay, so the people who are also directly watching this video, I can suggest go to the YOLO Volume Egg object detection with C++ video first of all, which I already put to my YouTube channel previously. You can check that because some parts are gonna be similar in the code part. So uh, you, you, you can understand, you can adapt it more easily. Okay. And we again in the ultra ultralytics web page and here previously we already got our YOLO volume egg PyTorch model which is in here uh, it was here before so in the same part we are gonna go to the pause tab and we are gonna got our PyTorch models again so you can get one of these I got a uh, YOLO volume egg X pause I already downloaded it into here and again we need our uh, script Python script which is this one to be able to convert our PyTorch model into the Onyx because otherwise we cannot run through C++ and uh, yeah this three lines simple code you can copy this and just open a terminal and run that script so test.py okay so uh, once it's done um, also maybe I can share with you again my pip list because uh, maybe only this video is gonna be enough most of for most of the people you can check my tensorflow version so because this is important little bit also i think uh, yeah ultralytics version is important uh because i'm sure some people is not gonna be able to run the same thing yeah so the packages in here important because otherwise uh some onyx configurations are different so i'm just showing you you can stop and check some of the versions okay once it's uh, converted onyx successfully in here we don't need the rest just cut that and interrupt okay so we got our onyx model then also i prepared some uh, image uh, to make the pause estimation draw the skeleton and also uh, a video i have we can run at the end um, so I got my model pet and I'm going to do code part here don't be scared because here is only a hundred line code except the comments and yeah I, we will go through y1 by so I just copied my pet and just paste it in here oops yeah so let's close and go one by one and uh, maybe to show you what this code does just at the beginning maybe it's good to show yeah and you see the joints is just drawing all the skeleton well with C++ with YOLO volume 8. So this gonna this is this code is doing this job. Okay. So let's go through one by one by. Uh, so we are reading our image in here. We are uh, defining our DNA net and loading net in here. This part uh, is important little bit. So if you already um, installed OpenCV if you already installed OpenCV with CUDA compatible before that you need to be able to install CUDA also so uh, yeah if you have CUDA capable GPU also if you already installed CUDA also if you installed OpenCV with CUDA compatible then your code is gonna go inside this scope and it's gonna be faster so there are also videos in my YouTube channel how to install CUDA but if not just to give it a try you can go through with your CPU it's not important okay and this scope is doing that I close here so don't worry about this function anymore and next our detect function the most important one and also we don't have any other things in here this detect function is very important so until here uh, we are not doing something different we are putting our input image into the um, DNN network and it's just uh, giving us the outputs which is uh, with, with the help of forward function in here so everything start after this this outputs function so until here uh, you already got I believe because in in many uh, 
DNN based things you are gonna use this forward and the blob from image functions but after this everything starts you need to know a couple of things before coming through here with what are those uh, these outputs coming in 3d tensor format what i mean is in the 3d dimension so uh, not 2d dimension but coming as 3d dimension maybe before that we can run to the console to explain you so this output uh, zero we are gonna use and uh, this is coming the zero one and after that oops maybe yeah we, we are gonna see the size and after that I want to see the second size and I want to see the uh, third size of my 3d tensor and here one and here two so let's see how it looks like so this comes as in 3D tensor and in these dimensions, which is one is representing batch uh, dimension and this is representing the, the um, human joints and some information we need. And this is the uh, number of rows in the uh, tensor, which is giving all the possibilities. We need to get the good ones inside this 8 to 400 uh 8400 possibilities we are gonna get the good ones and yeah this is the one and but this batch size we don't need actually and it makes the complicate uh, it makes the calculations complicated so we want to remove this dimension so we want to deal with in two dimension so for that purpose we are actually doing here we are removing this first batch dimension so it's removed anymore with the help of this line to see that uh, you can copy oops and run again so now you will see this also it can cause crash i think oh yeah it doesn't crash but it gives a ah, weird number anyway so now the zero size is 56 now so because the batch dimension is removed we don't have that anymore so this is only two dimension now also this is weird because we don't have the second dimension, the third dimension. And now why we are transposing? This is about, uh, we are choosing this way because also this is helping us to calculate well. Instead of 56 to 84, uh, if, if we do not transpose, I should uh, somehow for loops gonna should be switched so I want to go through the possibilities so I'm just transposing that and this is just uh, changing the dimensions again so now we will see 8400 to the 56 because uh, working with this uh, mode with these dimensions is easier yeah so we prepared our data now yeah I think it's clear you will understand that so until here we are doing that job even here looks like complicated I explained it's easy now we got our data now we are gonna play with this data and what we need class IDs actually this is from the previous code and I never use it so just it's, just remove it also from the object detection code it remains and yeah confidences uh, I um I can still need that I think yeah because um yeah I will talk about it boxes I will also talk these are similar to each other and the body joints um the outer vector how many human we have in the picture at a time let's say three picture then you have three elements and each element include your joints include your body uh, joints so yeah this is representing that and let's go through this before yeah let's talk about here now each rows is 8400 we talk about this is the possibilities all the 8400 possibilities comes for each frame and now we are trying to collect the good ones inside this 8400 possibilities and here is score threshold which is I defined as 50 percent for now and data for what does this mean data for is you need to know this also for before coding 
Data4 is uh, implemented, configured as the uh, confidence for human detection in the frame. So this is the, a, if a human detected, then this data for is gonna be a little higher, let's say 50, more than 50%. So in our case, this, uh, there is a possibility inside this data, uh, which is higher than 50%, which is giving us uh, a human. Also, you see, we are able to draw a rectangle. So, uh, this pose estimation does not only gives us the joints also of course it gives us the rectangle also uh, it inside it includes a human detection model inside not only the joints because to calculate joints also it needs a detected human yeah so this is the human confidence confidence threshold giving us so if it is inside this possible bigger than score threshold now we are entering to this scope now you still need to know some other information uh, this 56 uh, element belonging to each possibilities the fourth is score threshold we said and the first other four is center x center y width and the height belonging to the human egg for the box and uh yeah so 56 element we said and we already see five of them still 51 left and this 51 info is including the body joints which is in here commented you see uh, it start from fifth in the in this because until fifth we already see center weight height and the confidence after four it start as five which is belonging to the nose x coordinate nose y coordinate and nose confidence how it looks like a nose so it's not only giving us the point of the joints it also gives the confidence belonging to the each detected body uh, joint so i think it's clear until 55 this is the information you can take a screenshot here also and uh yeah this is the so now we are clear what these 56 elements are for these are the explanations okay and uh, but all these info is flawed type and uh, to, to, to put that to the global map mapping to the global our real frame which is gonna be integer pixel sizes so we are just x always we, are, we need to multiply with columns uh, and uh, also all the x direction things with also we need to multiply with columns for the y things and the height also in height in the y direction we need to multiply with rows to be able to get the real pixel point size as integer and uh, we are getting width and height and left and top and now we are pushing uh, the detected humans into the vectors and also confidences which is data 5 is confident ah, conf confidences Oops, I'm wrong. I think here that uh, here should be four because confidence also here data four. Yeah, I'm wrong here. So here should be data four. It's good to fix. And now after uh, box and the confidence data is done. Now we are going through the joints starting from five until 55. As you see here, start as five and going through 55. And we are pushing all the data uh, columns and also yeah with rows we are just multiplying X and the Y and now we are increasing to skip the confidence element for now I'm just skipping I'm not using confidence of each joints and I'm pushing to the joints which is vector of points and uh, I'm also at the end I'm putting that vector into the body joints vector which is this one yeah now I got my body joints, my boxes, confidences, I got everything and after it's done just playing with the data anymore. I got the uh, valid data and here uh, you can also see from the YOLO volume make object detection video. This is just uh, for the one human there are coming many rectangles to eliminate them. I'm using this uh, NMS boxes uh, method to be able to only get if they are, there are many rectangles in the same area i'm just eliminating i'm just getting one from them 
this is for that purpose and once I got the valid ones I'm drawing box around the human I'm drawing the circles for uh, nose eyes and ears kind of and I'm just drawing the skeleton according and for the code just email me I will send anyone this code I'm planning also I can maybe share in my github and yeah once it is done everything uh, at the end we are just see the joints how it's detected you see the right ears left ears in behind so it's just uh, estimated part and nose eyes and shoulders knees wristle everything we see here is well and uh, if you want to see this with uh, a real video at the beginning I showed you let's see how it looks like and just uh, make a make a while loop in here and uh, oops is everything done here I think it's done just got the video pet and paste here uh, this okay it can stay it doesn't matter so I'm just gonna show you now with okay yeah now you see a human is running and the joints are detected well also in my youtube channel you can see a python based video which is counting the push-ups also maybe there are other pause estimation videos my plan also to make another video for pull up with C++ based. Yeah. Um, why this is working slow? Because it's with CPU. Uh, unfortunately, I messed up some codes around. So CUDA is removed and I reinstalled CUDA. But now it's not compatible with OpenCV. I need to clean again. Also, I'm planning to upgrade my Ubuntu version now. Yeah. So yeah, that's why it's slowly because of CPU. And yeah, it's working fine. And it's working with C++, it's great, I think. Yeah, it's simple. But this kind of information you need to dig into the YOLO web page and you need to find this important information. Also, you can ask to the AI, maybe the AI already knows this. And uh, yeah, and for this video, I'm done. And thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.